dead and gone. Dead does two damage to a creature, or gone returns a creature you don't own to its own hands, so it lets you bounce things back and... And potentially shock a cheap general or something. So it's, just, it's a nice, remember, versatile card. Nice, flexible, versatile card. Speaking of versatile cards. Right. Grab the reins is also is, grab the reins. Right. It's one of the <laughs> one of the one of the best cards here. Also, also another underrated card. Right, you gain control of a creature, for it, or Thunder. it does damage equal to. Well, that you creature. sacrifice a creature and does damage equal to its power to target creature or player, and if you do entwine it, you could steal someone's creature and then sack it. Afterwards. Afterward, to kill another creature or to do something to a player, and I once did it to Mimeoplasm. That was very big. It's very scary, very frustrating. And I smashed something with it. Yeah, and then sacrificed it to do yeah, damage. So. so it's also another, it's from Mirrodin, uncommon, very useful, underrated card. Really good. Reverberate, everyone's seen it. It's from the new core sets. It's from the old core sets. It just copies instant sorcery and uses new targets. So, so I guess all these fun things like bribery, turns. Bribery, time warps, time stretches, all sorts of expensive, nice, awesome spells. You just pay two to use them. And since you're sitting usually on a pile of mana, since... You're not dumping your mana out most of the game, then it's often rather nice to have. Well, Ricochet is the same sort of thing, Depth's right? Better. Right, because you get cost. two. Right? Well, you, you take their spell and you copy it. So uh, you take a time time stretch and yeah, I get four turns. Which is insane. Reiterate has insane. a buyback, which, and as we insane. mentioned, is important to be able to reuse things in EDH. So buyback for three, and, and it also does the same thing reverberate. as reverberate. Inferno is just shell, just yeah. hits the board, kills all the creatures, most of them. And it's great with a doubler. It's that's twelve damage to everything and every player, and go way to commit suicide if I don't want to have someone kill me. So he's feeling a little spiteful, which is often. Which is very often. All right, common store. Also, really good card. Just kind of a blaze effect, or except it does damage to a number of different. Yeah, it's basically it's blaze Either for two, but you can multi kicker it. Yeah, it doesn't hit however many things right. I can. It's like pew pew pew. Lots of different targets. All the comments. And we have fault line. Which is basically Earthquake has an instant. Right, and which is one more red. The same sort of thing I mentioned by Omnath with Hurricane and Squall, where they do basically the same thing, but one's an instant. And in EDH, being able to do it instant speed is usually a better choice. Star Storm, instant, does damage to creatures, but it and also... And it's each you. creature, not only without flying, and it can cycle it. Blasphemous Act is Another. a really powerful one. It's good as that it's one less for each creature so on the battlefield. So if people have, like, ten creatures out, All it's their pretty armies, one. and they get... <laughs> And then it just knocks all the armies down. Pyrohema, we kind of mentioned with Stuffy Doll, there's a yeah. combo with it. I will get to the combo section. Fire does to a target creature or player, and if you make it high enough... It's uncounterable. It's uncounterable, which is really nice. You don't have to even waste the yes. you on it, which is good. Red Sun Zenith. It's blaze, but it's reusable, and it exiles. Falling Thunder, which is either a blaze, but I can split, split the damage however you yeah, like. Devil's Play, flashback, mostly. Yeah, blaze with flashback. Jockalops is just a board wipe. It's yeah. old school, destroys all artifacts, creatures, and lands. So it misses enchantments and planeswalkers, but... But that's it, also something that might be good with this deck, if I keep out right. of cost or you have, you have a number genres. of planeswalkers. Obliterate, staple. From Even better. Yeah, it's can't just, be can, It can't be countered. That's the main Past and Flames, reuse stuff. Yeah. Wheel of Fate. That's the way to draw cards and hopefully annoy some people. A lot of, a lot of people who, draw, who have big hand sizes because they draw lots of stuff, it wipes their hand out, and you need to draw... And it's a, so it's a two for one, right? Yeah. And since it's on a timer, people will and try I, to play out what they can, but often they and can't I can play, play out. around that also. Just play everything, and then it's in time for the, the wheel of the percussion, the one evilness. The most card people don't really realize what this does until it kills everybody. Whenever a creature does damage, it does that much to its controller. controller. And this deck has very few creatures, less than twenty creatures in this and deck. Most decks have a lot more, and so I have one guy out, and the like deck has five creatures out, and Six I do damage. seven, eight damage to them. They're dead. To each creature, then the, the player's same. Trouble Blaze just doubles. damage doubler for damage whatever doubles. I play or for a particularly hit at Zugu. speed, so you can just do it. Yeah. Although it's one time use, but you have flashback and things. Yeah. Furnace of Wrath is a total doubler for everything, right? Yeah, so I just have to play it carefully so I don't get myself killed. And now we have Gratuitous Violence, which basically does. Well, it's meant for hit at Zugu. It's creature based. And it's only my creatures. Planeswalkers. Planeswalkers. Koth. I mean, he's a no-brainer for yeah, a he's just really good. Untaps the land. I mean, I usually don't want to be attacking with it, just using him to untap the yeah. land. The minus two. If I have a, like, a bunch of land out, just Dumps. pour it all into a huge burn spell. And then obviously if the emblem ever gets off, which it hasn't yet, but if it ever does, yeah, it's just insane. Sandra Malar, Malar, the original. I mean, just general usefulness, the 
ping English could ping myself to one down one life to make me an odd number again. Uh, next damage to a creature. Which that, is like, okay, whatever. And then if I, she gets up to eight, as a new couple. And Chandra Blaze, which is actually kind of a controversial choice because it's really weird. Like, why would you choose Chandra Blaze? She's such a bad planeswalker. So why do you pick her? Well, I mainly use her for the minus thing. Everyone discard and draw three because it lets me draw if I'm out of stuff. And people who have a big hand messes counter with spells, them. Counter spells. Yes. And, draw and also the plus one could be used if I need to and it could let me discard things like anger. Minus seven, I don't think I really ever, it's not that useful because all the X burn spells would just not do anything but I could potentially use it to play Obliterate again if that ever happened. That'd be a long game. So. <laughs> That'd be really funny. So this is a pretty you know usual combo. Uh, Pyrohema and Stuffy Doll. How does it work? Well, Stuffy Doll is indestructible and Pyrohema stays out as long as the creature is alive. So, so I can pretend, stay alive. And I can just tap and do however much damage I want to everything, and it'll never go away. Right, so doesn't the stuff be dull damage? Yes, and I'll be doing that, however much damage I want to do to whoever is unlucky enough to be chosen with stuffy doll. <laughs> so it's kind of like, that's really funny. It's like, yeah. flip a coin, who goes to stuffy doll because you're going to see. Anyway, okay, so that's combo number this one. This is another combo. It's more like a widespread combo because every burn spell, mass burn mass spell. Burn spell goes into it. Yeah, As we mentioned before, repercussion. Creature is dull damage. It does damage, damage to his control. Repercussion does damage, damage to his control. It's pretty simple. That's out, and I'm doing mass damage to all creatures. It does that. I think each creature does that. I mean, it does that much damage from each creature to that creature's control. And we also have a number of combos for Hidetsugu. We'll probably run through them pretty, quick, pretty quickly. So, any of the dub damage doublers, Hidetsugu does damage equal to half. Yeah, which basically means it'll be killing everybody, yeah, whoever's on an even number of life, which is why I want to be on an odd number when I do this, so that I don't kill myself. Kill myself too is also okay if I decide it's, to. It's usually a draw in that, in that case. Yeah, and if I, if, if I can't win, I'll do that. And another combo with Hidetsugu is the equipments. Yeah, so giving him lifelink means he could do his ability at any point, with an, even with on an even number, and you won't and die. even if it's not going to kill people, you still gain, you don't lose any life, and you gain all the life, that all the damage that he does to the other players, you gain that much life. And lastly, this isn't a Hidetsugu combo, it's just a Basilisk Collar, Kumano, Scourge of the Carriage, either of them gets equipped, and... Yeah, well, the Death Touch lets them just activate, well, death, the Scourge I could just activate it everything on the ground for two mana, and I gain two life for each creature that was out. And then I can do the same for the flying creatures, and that obviously is more life. Creatures also, just keep in mind that they are exiled. So it becomes two mana, exiled to our creature. Which is pretty amazing. Yeah. So... That is the Hidetsugu deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Below or PM me if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe up top to see more videos.